Disney Masklophobia – Scariest Disney Characters In this video, we're going to explore the spookier side to all things – Disney Masklophobia. For those of you who are not aware, Masklophobia is the fear of people in masks and costumes, such as mascots, full-bodied costume characters, and Halloween costumes, or in this case, Disney characters. The Hag, aka the Evil Queen, from Snow White and the Seven Dwarves. Disney's first ever antagonist is an animated character. The Evil Queen is dead set on riding Snow White from the kingdom once and for all. When her huntsman is unsuccessful in his mission to kill Snow White, the queen takes matters into her own hands, exploiting dark magic to morph herself into an old hag, in one final effort to do away with her gorgeous rival. It's the seven dwarves who come to Snow White's rescue, terrorizing the queen to fly and ultimately meet a boulder field fate. The Horned King from the Black Cauldron the 1985 animated film, known as The Black Cauldron, based on Lloyd Alexander's Chronicles of Pride Ain book series, presents one of the creepiest villains in Disney's canon. The Evil Horned King, which was voiced by John Hurt, a skeletal specimen with frightening horns and illuminating red eyes, the king wants to use the Black Cauldron, which has the power to restore life, to release an army of undead warriors. But the cauldron's magic blew up in his face, which eventually consumed the king and made a hero of unlikely warrior Terran. King Candy from Wreck-It Ralph One of the newer villains in the Disney canon, King Candy, who was formerly known as Turbo, was up to no good, even before the events of 2012's Wreck-It Ralph revealed. He'd been a famous character in a classic racing video game, but when a new game stole his spotlight, Turbo was filled with jealousy and disappeared. But not for long. Due to Ralph's fondness of wrecking things, Turbo appears again and takes over Sugar Rush, transforming into the deliciously devilish King Candy and creating chaos on the game's ruler, Manelope Von Schweetz. Can Ralph fix it before it's too late? Red Skull from Marvel's Captain America So creepy. Red Skull, also known as Johann Schmidt, was Steve Rogers' wicked nemesis in 2011's Captain America First Avenger. When we first encounter Schmidt, he is played by Hugo Weaving. He's the leader of Hydra, the science branch of the Nazis. I mean, I gave you a very subtle hint that he was creepy. Though he at first purloins the Tesseract, an infinity stone of unparalleled power, and schemes to bomb the world's capitals, He's done in not only by the good captain's strength, but also by the fully charged Tesseract itself. Madame Medusa from The Rescuers In 1977's The Rescuers, an orphan dubbed Penny is kidnapped by devious pawn shop owner Madame Medusa, who plans to use her to discover the world's largest diamond, the Devil's Eye, inside a pirate cave. Fortunately, Miss Bianca and Bernard of the Rescue Aid Society, which is an international organization of mice with headquarters in the basement of the United Nations building, take on the case preventing Medusa and her henchmen to be successful in her plan and ultimately rescuing Penny and keeping the devil's eye in safe hands. Claude Frollo, the Hunchback of Notre Dame Extensively considered to be one of the darkest and most crafty villains in Disney history, Claude Frollo in 1996's The Hunchback of Notre Dame is a merciless Parisian judge who finds himself the reluctant caretaker for the physically deformed, kind-hearted Quasimodo. Disobeying the orders of his surrogate father, Quasimodo endeavors into the streets of medieval Paris, where he encounters an attractive gypsy girl named Esmeralda. As you can guess, Frollo wants the girl for his very own, but it's Quasimodo and his gargoyle friends to the rescue. Billy Butcherson from Hocus Pocus Okay, weird, but not all of the creepy characters on this list are entirely bad. Case in point, Billy Butcherson from Disney's 1993 live-action comedy adventure Hocus Pocus. Back in the 1600s, Old Billy was Winifred Sanderson's partner, but he had a fling with Winnie's sister, Sarah. Next thing you know, he's six feet under. 300 years later, Winnie raises him from the dead and orders him to assist her in reviving her spellbook from the plucky Salamides Max, 
Allison and Danny, but he ends up helping the kids instead to defeat the sisters once and for all. Oogie Boogie from Tim Burton's The Nightmare Before Christmas Leave it to Tim Burton to transform what is basically a sack filled with bugs into one of the spookiest and most entertaining characters that has ever graced the silver screen. Oogie Boogie, Jack Skellington's archenemy, kidnaps the real Santa Claus from under Jack's nose and puts ill-fated Sally in danger too. Shenanigans happen afterwards. But Jack does recognize the error of his ways and sends Santa back to Christmas Town and conquers Oogie Boogie forever. Davy Jones from Pirates of the Caribbean Dead Man's Chest A frightening character that foredate his appearance in the second film of the Pirates of the Caribbean franchise by many years, Davy Jones is a supernatural sailor, complete with octopus like facial tentacles that's damned to Captain the Flying Dutchman for a lifetime. As far as villains go, Jonesy will have some rigid competition from Captain Salazar, Javier Bardem, in the next Pirates of the Caribbean film, Dead Men Tell No Tales. The Headless Horseman in The Adventures of Ichabod and Mr. Toad The Legend of Sleepy Hollow is a gothic story by American author Washington Irving, included in his collection of 34 essays and short stories. Ichabod Crane, a new school teacher with a lust to marry rich, arrives in Sleepy Hollow and ignites local hearts. Well, except for Katrina Van Tassel, daughter of a wealthy farmer, and her suitor Brahms Bones who attempts to frighten Ichabod away with the story of the Headless Horseman. On Halloween night, Mr. Crane actually experiences the petrifying phantom and goes missing. Do remember, you can meet up with the Headless Horseman live and in person during Mickey's Halloween party at Disneyland Resort. Sid Phillips from Toy Story You wouldn't imagine a child would end up on our list of spooky characters, but this one's a real doozy. Sid Phillips first played mischief with Andy and all his dearly loved toys in 1995's Toy Story. The slightly sociopathic youngster becomes the only other human in Andy's world to recognize that the toys are alive. But concerns about Sid spilling the beans is alleviated when Andy and his family move away. An intriguing fact, we spy adult Sid in Toy Story 3, who now works as a garbage man. Serves him right to be this creepy, right? Henry J. Waternoose from Monsters, Inc. Catch a glimpse of Waternoose, the CEO of Monsters, Inc. And you can most certainly reckon a strong creep factor from the jump with those five small gleaming eyes and those crab-like legs. At first, he appears like a gentle, fatherly kind, until he's faced with keeping his company alive during a strange and unexpected energy crisis. But once he commits to Weird Little Randall's evil plan, it's all over for him. Sully and Mike won't let anything happen to cute human Boo, and they'll do everything in their power to protect her. Grand Admiral Thrawn from Star Wars Rebels Thrawn is a currently reintroduced weirdo in the Star Wars canon. While he was first present in the 1991 Star Wars novel, he wasn't made an official part of the galaxy far, far away until his introduction in the third season of Star Wars Rebels. He's a Grand Admiral who works for the Galactic Empire as a commander of the 7th Imperial Fleet. Frosty and analytical, Thrawn permits the Rebels to escape hoping to manipulate them into organizing the utter downfall of their own rebellion.